over the last 30 years, European science as a whole has strengthened hugely, and we have more collaborations in our science with Europe than with any other region. And that's why it would be such a real old goal if we were to jeopardize this by uh, cancelling our collaborations. This is true over the whole of science, it's especially important in health and uh, uh, biological sciences, but I speak as a so-called big scientist, and of course the European collaborations like in particle physics and in space and astronomy have made Europe a world beater and we don't want to lose the uh, benefit we have from these collaborations and they indicate how much there is to gain if we strengthen these collaborations and so that's why I was delighted to support this letter. Hello my name is Alison Willard and I'm a geneticist at the University of Oxford. My university currently has well over 100 million euros in research funding from the European Research Council, as well as over 200 million euros from Horizon 2020. European funding has been an amazing deal for UK science. Royal Society data suggests we have got 50% more back than we put in. But it's not just about the money. In my university, there are over 2,000 EU nationals who are valued members of staff around 25% in fact of research staff are EU nationals. Will they still want to come after the end of the transition period? Two of my current graduate students are EU nationals, paying the home EU fee for their tuition. Neither of them would have been able to come if they'd had to pay the much higher overseas fee, but they're both doing world leading science. And it's not just about EU nationals coming to the UK. It's about cross-national collaboration, the free exchange of expertise and ideas, so much easier without borders. International collaboration is so much part of the fabric of science that we scientists tend to take it for granted. We've all worked throughout our careers in overwhelmingly international environments, and we love it, not just because of the catalyst this provides for our research, but also because of the cultural advantages. International partnership, Collaboration and friendship, such as we see in science, is a shining beacon of hope for humankind. Let's not cut ourselves off from this. That would be utter folly. Recognise that Erasmus has been a tremendous success and it has created a generation of Europeans who understand each other much better than before. And, you know, like, like the Edinburgh Festival, is about people from different countries understanding each other. Erasmus is about that as well, creating um, a, a generation of Europeans who at least have spent half a year in another in another member state or another European country, thus well, starting to understand the differences and learning more about themselves in the process. Well